This is shocking CCTV footage from when a businessman was kidnapped in Mossad, Manchester. Please be sure to watch the whole video to see the whole CCTV footage as well as finding out what actually happened. If you do end up enjoying this type of content, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Today's video will be about a businessman who was kidnapped, tortured and badly beaten before being dumped on the street in Salford. The man, said to have been targeted because his attackers believed he would have money, was found with cable ties around his neck, wrists and legs. During his ordeal, he was attacked by several masked men and was hit with a metal bar, bats as well as being pistol whipped. He was then dragged into a VW Tiguan where he was told he would be killed unless he handed over money. After a few minutes, the car stopped and he was pulled out, pouring with blood. He struggled to try and get away but then was bundled into a VW Golf on Main Road in Mossside. Dramatic CCTV footage of this moment was shown in court and I'll now proceed to show it to you. Once the man was in the boot of the VW Golf, the men took off his coat and shoes before tying him up by his arms and feet using cable ties and putting a bag over his head. If he struggled, he was punched and choked. After about 20 minutes of driving, the car stopped and the man was taken into the upstairs room of a property. Cable ties were then put around his neck, wrists and feet before the men demanded money from him. They initially wanted a six-figure sum. They asked for 250 grand, then they worked their way down to 50 grand, the victim told police. They asked me where I had my money, they said you've worked your whole life and now we've got you so you've got to pay, he went on to add. He was told he would be killed if payment wasn't made. When he said he had no money, he was subjected to sustained and extreme violence. A gun was pointed at him, he was punched in the face, his feet and shins were hit with metal bars or a hammer and his toes were cut with a sharp implement. 
His trousers and underwear were pulled down and he was whipped with a belt on the back of his legs. He was attacked every few minutes and water or aftershave was thrown at him to rouse him. Mr. Bassano, prosecutor, said it is no exaggeration to say he was tortured. After about an hour and a half, he was dragged into a car and dumped on the street in Salford, with his hands and feet still bound, his trousers still down, and was found crawling on his hands and knees by a passerby. Before they left, his kidnappers knocked on the door of a nearby house, perhaps realising how badly injured he was. Police were then called and it was later discovered that the man had suffered grave injuries, including a bleed on the brain, multiple fractures to his nose, a broken toe and cuts to his feet and shins. In the subsequent investigation following the incident, on December 18, 2018, it was discovered the golf had a tracking device on it. Through this, police were able to link a man called Blake Evers to the crime, after finding his fingerprints on the number plate on the VW Tiguan, as well as through phone evidence. They learned that Blake Evers had been living in a house on Porporo Close in Royton Oldham, where they discovered a .38 Smith & Wesson gun in full working order with six bullets. The victim's blood was found on the gun. Blake Evers of Thornley Lane South, Stockport, pleaded guilty to causing grievous bodily harm and possession of a prohibited firearm. He was jailed for 19 years at Manchester Crown Court on Tuesday, January the 7th, 2019. This sentence included seven and a half years for the GBH offence and five years for the possession of a firearm, as well as extra time for his involvement in a previous kidnapping in Stockport. Shockingly, he had no prior convictions to this crime. So my thoughts on this case are quite minimal because it's quite self-apparent as to what actually happened in the case as you can see from the CCTV footage. Um, it's quite rare to actually get such raw CCTV footage so I hope you guys enjoyed the case. Um, I hope the victims are right now. It was a few years ago so hopefully he's on the mend and yeah probably probably use this case as a lesson to you know make sure you keep your guard up and be safe because this can literally happen anywhere. It's, it says Manchester for for this case but Honestly, it can happen anywhere in England, in Europe, America, whatever. So, yeah, be safe and please be sure to like, comment and subscribe because it genuinely helps the growth of my channel.